I'm making my way through the flavors of the banh mi on the menu. There's no chili sauce the time I remember to put chili sauce on it. I guess it's not meant to have, ooh, that looks good. Ooh, what's that all that, ooh. I'm loving that the coriander is just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, so after my second one, the one attached to that comment, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I decided to research the bread in banh mi and it is slightly different to your regular baguette. Mm. Mm. The bread used for banh mi is lighter, fluffier, with a thin outer crust which makes it so crunchy and soft. It's so good. Mm. It's so good. Like, why is it so delicious? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't feel like this is as crispy as the first and second time I had it. Mm. Or am I just getting used to it now? This baguette is 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Rolo is hovering underneath me for any drops of food. I fed his dinner already. I did think to myself, oh, I should get something different. You guys are gonna be so bored of me, but honestly, when I have something on my mind, I just can't deviate. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Oh God. How good would it be if at work, you know when we have lunchtime meetings and there's a platter of baguettes, like either from prayer or like whatever obvious commercial place. Imagine there were small banh mi's. Oh, that would be so good. Mm. Do you know what? The next time I order this, I'm gonna ask them to put extra coriander in. Mm hmm that bread I wonder if I can purchase it somewhere mm-hmm mm. Mm well if I was gonna rank them I think the first one I got was number one then the second one I got was number two and this one's number three but the first were the waitresses recommendations so they were the top ones anyway guys that was my dinner I might be back for a snack dessert or something else I'm not sure but I hope you're having a good evening and a good dinner. I'm in the office tomorrow, so if I don't see you later, I'll see you on my lunch break.